Welcome to Wrestle with Style. This is Shanil with my review for this week's Monday Night Raw. Before we begin, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. If you like the video, kindly press the like button. If you dislike anything in the video, please press the dislike button and do mention in the comment section so we can improve that. With that, let's begin with the video. So the night started with the Kevin Owens show, uh, where Kevin Owens, along with Seth Rollins, hosted the Alpha Academy. Uh, their conversation led to the first match of the night. Uh, the clash between Kevin Owens and Otis was really very impressive. After a series of finishing moves, uh, Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins won the match. The next match was between Omas and T-Bar. Uh, it was a pretty one-sided match where Omas won very easily. Uh, then the third match was a six-woman tag team match where uh, Becky Lynch, the Raw Women's Champion, along with Nikki A.S.H. and Dewdrop faced Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan was really impressive at the first half of the match. Uh, then at the end, the confrontation between Bianca Belair and Becky was worth watching, especially when uh, Bianca used her hair to whip Becky out of the ring then she gave a KOD to Nikki A.S.H. to win the match. This was among one of the best matches of the evening. The next match was between Tomasa Champa and Robert Roode. Now this match on the NXT brand uh, will be a really very impressive match. But uh, at Raw it was hardly a 4 minutes match where uh, Tomasa Champa won the match with a roll up. After which there was a 2 on 1 where uh, Do uh, Ziggler along with Robert Roode attacked Tomasa Ciampa. Uh, this was a pretty okay segment. Tomasa Ciampa did came out with a, another new entrance music which was really not impressive. The next was a mixed tag team match between Akira Tozawa and Tamina versus the 24 by 7 champion Dana Brooke and Reggie. Dana and Reggie won the match uh, following which uh, Dana kissed Reggie and uh, Tamina kissed Akira. It was a bit pretty short match. Then Miss came out telling everyone how Mysterios represent the same old standard crap. Now this is very ironic because Miss is uh, following the same characters and same moves and same promos again and again from I don't know how many years. Uh, he is a very talented wrestler but he really need a change in character. Uh, after which uh, the Mysterios face the hurt business in a tag team match uh, because of the miss interference in the match they lost the match and the hurt business won that match next was uh, a very short match between rk bro and the street profits the street profits won the match it seems uh our brandy orton is suffering from an injury and i hope it's, it is not a serious injury and he do not miss wrestlemania uh if it is please get well soon because we will really like to see you at wrestlemania uh after which there was a segment where um the current women's tag team champion accepted the challenge which was laid out to them at uh, friday night smackdown uh by sasha bangs and naomi the next match was uh, the last match of the evening because after which there was a segment of Edge and uh, AJ Styles which will, I will come to later. But this was a very shocking match although it was a very good match between Damon Priest and Finn Balor. Uh, Finn Balor one of my favorite wrestlers and I was really happy to see him as the new United States Champion. However, I felt that if they want the Damien Priest to drop the belt, they should have made this match at uh, WrestleMania 38 and he should have done at, at there at a grander stage. Finn Balor winning the championship at Raw and Finn Balor winning the championship at WrestleMania 38 makes a huge difference. It was a very good match. Uh, Finn won the match post which uh, Damien Priest uh, turned heel and attacked Finn Balor. Um, I see them uh, at WrestleMania at the rematch, but uh, it would have been better if Finn would have won the match at WrestleMania instead of going WrestleMania as a champion. Uh, after which, which was the last segment where uh, the um, Hall of Famer Edge, who laid out a challenge last week, was confronted by uh, AJ Styles. Edge turned heel, and that was the most impressive 
segment of the evening. I really liked his look, the way he changed his look. There was a segment where he was about to walk out of the ring and he just keep telling, he was just just telling himself, no, don't do that, don't do that. But then he stood, he went back, he took the chair and he just started hitting AJ Styles with the chair and then he gave that look on the camera or to the crowd. That was really impressive. Uh, so this was my complete review of this week's uh, Monday Night Raw. Uh, I will rate the show 2.5 out of 5. Although uh, there were three really good matches and the final segment was really very good. But at the end of the day, you will really still feel that three hours is too long. Uh, having said that, I hope you like my video. If you like it, as I said earlier, please press the like button. If you do not like it, then please press the dislike button and do mention in the comment section how we can improve. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day. Hasta la vista.